Hello everyone and welcome back to another video in the scene editor for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Today we are going to talk about decals and I'm going to show you a few different ways you can apply this to improve the look of your scene. And I'm going to show you two methods how you can apply moss on top of entities, at least uh, some entities. And lastly I will show you how you can create a, a road. But before we do that, I would like to give uh, a short update what I've been doing recently. First of all, I was asked to be a judge in the scene contest by Tailworlds. So thanks for that opportunity. I think there was uh, a lot of uh, very good looking scenes. So um, the best of luck to everyone who participated in the contest. And regarding Kingdoms of Arda, I'm still working on the same scene that you saw in the last video about the mod. It's uh, quite large, so it's going to take some time to finish the nav mesh. And also, I want to improve the, the look uh, a bit before I finish it. And as some of you know, I have also started to make a, a new series about the law of Middle-earth. So feel free to check that out if you are interested in Lord of the Rings or just Middle Earth in general. All right. So there are a, a few different decals. Uh, I've just placed uh, some of them. As you can see, there's a blood. There's uh, quite a few of those that you can uh, pick between. And then there's some uh, leaking. So this barrel, it looks like uh, there's uh, some hole in it somewhere and it has spilled uh, whatever was inside of it. And there's also a puddle. I'm not, uh, I'm not very impressed by it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to use this. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna make uh, another video to show you how you can make your own puddle uh, and how to make it look uh, way better than this at least uh, and of course lastly we have here you can see that the uh, the earth have been um, sort of burned by the fire you can use it uh, in other contexts of course so let's just uh, jump right into it so if you want to add a, a decal like one of these all you have to do is you first create an empty entity, something like that. And then you should just uh, add decal. And uh, you click none, and you just browse through the various uh, different ones there are. So let's just start with a blot, like this. All right. So as you can see, it sort of uh, sticks to the terrain. So here it begins to go down a bit. So you can see that it always uh, snaps to the terrain. Um, yeah, that's pretty useful. So if you lift it up, you can see it will not move up. It will just sort of fade away. I guess you can do use that uh, if you want, uh, you know, some of it to be more faded than the other. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how it works. Let's just move it over there. And uh, just for for the fun of it, let's try and uh, add another one. So another empty one, decal. And you just scroll through. There's quite a different ones uh, you can pick between. Um, I think the leaking are all right. So let's just try this one. It looks pretty good, I think. We had a puddle or something, it could be interesting to use. You know, whatever you like. Uh, perhaps not the best uh, thing to have, but uh, you get the idea. All right, let's try and uh, move on to two methods. You can apply moss to your entities i think it looks pretty good for rocks at least i've also tried to do it over here on uh, this wall i'm not uh, very happy with the result but perhaps you like it 
uh, so feel free to use this method. It's actually rather simple. All you do is you add a plane, like the editor plane, just like that. Select it, move it over a little, and uh, now we're going to tilt it and uh, make sure it's uh, 90 degrees. All right. So let's try and uh, apply it to another wall, perhaps this wall over here. All right. So let's say we want this rocky wall here to have moss. Something like that. All right, and let's scale it up a bit. Yeah, something, something like that. Hold down G, move it a bit closer. Now you want it to sort of uh, fit as much as you can to the wall. And I'm gonna show you why in a moment. So perhaps we do something like that. Yeah, it's not the best, but uh, better than nothing. Eh? All right, so you go to components and you find the materials and just search for moss, pick this one and you can sort of see that you can actually look uh, through it and uh, see the moss. And perhaps you don't want it to be this big or bigger, whatever you want. Yeah. I think that's alright. So if you want it over here, you can just hold down Shift and G and drag and it uh, copies, as you probably know by now. You know, you can spend some time doing this um, to improve the look, of course. Make sure it uh, doesn't uh, go too far out from uh, the wall because people will be able to see that. You can see it sort of clips here with the rock. So that's one method. Uh, again, I'm not super happy with the results, but uh, perhaps it works better on something uh, in the background or whatever. Uh, at least it's a, a method. And uh, the other method I have used here to add a moss on this rock. And of course you can change the the color of it, just like uh, I've shown in a previous video, and I'm gonna put that up in the corner in case you want to see that. All right, so let's try and uh, do the same for this rock. You can see there's uh, a rock here. All you have to do is you actually just make a copy, so hold down Shift and hold down G and move it a bit. Just move it just you know slightly more out than the other and you just go to the components again, find materials, just like before, do like that. Now I've already colored the rock, so make sure if you make a, a copy that the moss has the right color you want, because I don't want it to be like that. And um, there you go. And lastly, we have this path, uh, which applies the road. Uh, that may sound a bit weird, but that, uh, that's how it works. So first, let's try and disable this. All right, so despite the bug about uh, removing this path, we will just create a, a new path. And uh, I've went ahead to make the basic layout for a road. Um, pretty simple. Uh, as always, I recommend that you either dig down a bit or uh, make it stick out, um, just so it's not all flat and just follows the terrain because that can look a bit uh, unnatural. All right, 
so let's create a, a new path so uh, we can get these uh, tracks uh, on top of it so it looks uh, just slightly better add a new path call it root to first make sure you change uh, from liner to this and uh, now we are actually ready so first you make all these markers and uh, later we are going to change uh, them a bit you can see they have these sort of uh, weird angles perhaps there are people that do this uh, in different ways that's completely up to them let's just do it like this all right so now we have a path and we want to turn it into a road sort of like this so first of all make sure you have this one and uh, the width and the height you can uh, adjust that to whatever you want i think this uh, is uh, pretty good um, if you don't know how wide you want your road to be you can always uh, try and add a card so i think this is a rather generic one perhaps just do like this and you can sort of see that the space between the wheels fits uh, rather well so let's just put that one there and uh, let's find the path again So that will uh, mark sort of how wide these tracks will go. And next you just select the decal and you go down. There are some different ones you can pick between and you actually don't have to use a texture like this beneath it. But uh, I think it looks better in some cases at least. So let's just try and find the road. There's uh, two different ones. Uh, let's just pick this one and remember to enable road build and there you go so now we have our road and we have to make sure the texture doesn't look stretched anywhere i think it looks pretty fine actually um but just for the sake of it if there are, oh yeah here we go all right, so here you can see that the texture is sort of uh, messed up and we don't want that. So just click on this and uh, select this small uh, ball, press T to move it around and just sort of drag it uh, towards where you want it. Perhaps it meant to go the other way. No. Yeah, like that. I think I dragged it a, a bit too far. So just uh, point it in the direction of the path. And let's make sure that it's like this everywhere down the line. I think that looks pretty fine. Of course, if your path looks a, a bit weird someplace, you can just move these um, points, as you can see. Just make sure to move the ball around as well, so um, it doesn't look stretched or, or weird any places like here. It's not that hard. Yeah, and there you go. So now we have a new path here. And I think it looks pretty good. Of course, you can change the color. So uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps this doesn't blend very well with your path. So you could just make it a little darker, more muddy, more sandy, whatever you want. Um, whatever you feel looks good in your scene and there's also begin fade out and end fade out um, I'm pretty sure it's uh, here at the end at least so if we change it yeah you can sort of see it so whatever you want at the beginning and then you have the end uh, multiplier 
You can also connect it to other path. Um, I haven't been able to do that yet. I'm not sure if it works, but uh, I don't think you need it to actually connect anything. I think it looks fine on its own. You can always uh, begin the path a little down the road just sort of a swing and a, another path from here so there's like this natural curve and uh, yeah that's all for this video for today um, I think I covered everything if there's something you want to know let me know in the comments and uh, remember to subscribe and leave a like I'll see you in the next one bye